The command within vRigger lets you edit items that are on the workspace using the gear builder. Let's first look at the gear builder and then see how it can be used to edit items that are on the workspace. vRigger's gear builder is primarily used to create gear. In fact, almost all of the 600 plus items in vRigger were created using the gear builder. The gear builder contains five pages of settings. These pages allow you to specify the item's name and where the item will appear in the gear panes, the item's image and how the image can be modified, if and how the item connects to other items, if and how it connects to ropes, webbing, chain, etc., and details about calculating forces on rigging systems that contain the item. As you can see, there are a lot of settings in the gear builder. The best way to understand the gear builder is to click the help buttons that appear on each of these five pages and to watch the separate video about using the gear builder. So this advanced command within vRigger lets you use the gear builder to change settings for an item that is already displayed on the workspace. That's different than using the gear builder to create a new piece of gear. To access this command, right click on an item and choose edit in gear builder from the shortcut menu. This will display a window reminding you that the changes you make will only affect that one item on the workspace. If you want the changes to affect more instances of that item, or if you'd like to add that item to other rigging systems, you really should create a new item as explained in the gear builder video. The gear builder has a different appearance when you're editing an item that is on the workspace. You can see that the list of gear files is no longer displayed. It wouldn't make sense to see the files when you're editing an item on the workspace. And many of the items in the dialog are disabled. For example, it doesn't make sense to specify where an item would appear in the gear panes because an item on the workspace won't appear in the gear panes. Similarly, the options to specify the item's image are disabled because the image is already displayed. However, most of the options in the gear builder are enabled. For example, you can add an additional gear connection. You can change the number of connections allowed on an existing gear connection point. You can change what an item can connect to. You can edit where forces, where the force label will be displayed, and much more. Let's look at a few examples of how you might use the Edit in Gear Builder command. You might add an additional connection point to a rigger, for example, to allow a connection to a positioning ring. You might allow the height and width of the foot loop to be changed independently, so you can reduce its width without also changing its height. Or you might move the connection points on a carabiner to the sides to show a cross-loaded carabiner. The ability to edit the gear that is on the workspace using the gear builder is an extremely powerful command. It is also a bit more complex than many of the commands in vRigger. When editing gear in the gear builder, remember to click the help buttons frequently and to watch the video that explains how to use the gear builder.